Happy holidays, all you beautiful, wonderful people out there. I hope you are enjoying the season. For me, one of the things I love doing at this time of year, aside from everything, like decorating the tree, making cookies, getting together with friends and family, and trying to think of the perfect gift for all the people I love, I love sending out cards, Christmas cards, to those people who are really close to me, just to be able to reach out and share something with them. I am a long way from a lot of my family, and so this is a way for me to touch base with them, but it's also a way for me to share crafts, like tangible physical items, with people who are not necessarily right next door or right nearby. So today we are going to be doing something a little different from my usual planning videos. We're going to be doing some Christmas cards, some holiday cards. Um, and so for this first one is not just a Christmas card, but I'm also doing like a whole letter, um, some snail mail, which is something I might bring to the channel moving forward because I do love pen palling. Um, and I kind of want this channel to sort of be all things ink and paper and crafts and drawing and, and just that kind of stuff, that part of my brain, um, kind of anything I do in my craft room, whether that's writing stories or whatever. So here I've written a letter to some very good friends of mine and I'm wanting to jazz it up a little bit. So I'm making like a little sleeve and I have a envelope of scrap pieces of paper and then from there I can pull them out and use them for various craft use them for various crafts or scrapbooking or what have you. I also have a wide variety of washi tape and sticker and washi stickers and things that you know all those crafters have just in our repertoire. Um, and so I'm pulling out some of those and just trying to come up with a little bit of a collage for this letter. I'm getting a little envelope with some goodies. This is not a thing that needs to be done, um, but the person I'm giving this particular letter to is someone who is new to doing pen palling, is also new to planning, and so I'm wanting to send some washi tape and some stickers and just a few little goodies that she might find useful. And as it is Christmas time, we're going to include a Christmas card. And I'm adding in some vintage postcards that I think they'll get a kick out of as well.
once I have all of the things together, I am going to put them together in this lovely envelope. So that is my first letter. The second actual letter I'm sending out is to my friend Katie. She's also known as P-Frog. This is a friend of mine who lives in England and so it's a longer letter because I'm touching base and we, ha we haven't really gotten to connect for a little while. So there's this first letter is has a water lily background. Another one has a, a lily pad with a little frog on it. And then the third one is, is just sort of this beautiful blue paper that I put some Happy Planner stickers on um, to sort of make a little more wintry. And so those are the letters portion. Now again, her nickname is P-Frog, so I have this card that I've gotten from scrapbooking paper I had. I'm also including a little frog on the divider and a few stickers of frogs. It's kind of, there's kind of a theme here. Now, she is in England, and so tea is a big thing, and I generally hate tea, but there are two teas I will tolerate. One is a mint tea, and the other is, um, it's known as, a, it's called a throat coat. It's a medicinal tea, but it has a bunch of stuff in it. Um, and with a spoonful of brown sugar, it's just delightful. So I'm sending a sample of each of these teas for her and for her partner, so that they can, Give me their opinion on whether or not these are proper teas, or if they're terrible, but they're the only teas that I can tolerate. When you're doing pen paling, there isn't a right or wrong way to do it. You're trying to basically, in an envelope, you want to stuff in anything that's going to be a touchstone or that's going to make the recipient smile. So inside jokes, um, things that they'll connect with. It's sort of a way to reach across distance and let that person know that you care about them, that you're thinking about them, that they matter. That So any sort of inside jokes, um, any sort of way you can share a piece of your life with them is anything you can fit in an envelope that fits that criteria is basically what I find pen paling to be. Now we're on to the more simple Christmas cards, and these are to people I speak to regularly on the phone or who I see often um, and just want to make sure that they have a piece of us at the holidays, a piece for me and my family. And so these are our Christmas cards. And the highlight of all of this, the thing that makes pen paling the most enjoyable for my end. I love being able to send something that's going to make them smile, but I love the wax seals. I have quite a collection of wax seals for today. We're going to be using this Christmas tree that says Merry Christmas on it, and we're going to be using that. Now, when I'm using my stamps, I tend to look at the stamp and align it to the way I am facing. So the bottom of the stamp is facing me, so I can pick it up directly. Um, and stamp it onto the wax. Some people will mark on it with a marker. I don't prefer to do that because I don't like to damage my stamps, but everybody has their own unique style. 
Um, and so I also tend to use two colors. Sometimes they're just different shades of the same color, but at least two colors of wax so that you get a bit of a marbling or a ripple into the actual wax. Sometimes having a solid color is a beautiful effect. For this, I'm using two colors. Those are my Christmas cards I got sent out this year. Hope you enjoyed this video, and for those of you who got these cards, I hope you enjoy your goodies. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you are having a wonderful, happy, and safe holiday. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more of these snail mail pen pal videos. Let's talk in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will see you next time.